So rare diseases mm -hmm. are, uh, are defined as diseases that have under 200,000 people in the United States. So they're actually a very large a group of people affected by rare diseases because although each particular rare disease affects few people, there are so many of them that the population is actually very great. However, the resources made available to these communities are, are a lot less compared to the diseases we're all familiar with, cancer, heart disease. And so it's really requiring, I think, in the future, or it's to really advance rare disease research, we need to mobilize the grassroots uh, and, and use that to, to help uh, generate the funds needed to take the uh, research forward. And the technology now is actually really available and accessible if you have the right connections. And so Rare, yeah, yeah. Rare Genomics Institute really helps people make those connections and uh, make possible what we can see is just you know, at the tip of our fingers. The, the partners that we have are able to provide uh, patients with uh, sequencing of a, a trio, so that means the patient and two close relatives to help you know, really compare the genomes with, and that or is in the range of about $7,500. Um, our crowdfunding, our experience so far is, um, you know, it's ranged from one day to four months to, to raise that money. Uh, typical donations are under $50, but when you, when you group this all together, you know, and you mobilize your, your, your friends and family and, and just the broader community who are willing to help people with rare diseases, uh, you know, people are willing to help. And, and the, the, the funding is not normally 